The Teesside Troubadour, singer, songwriter, and all round good egg, Vin Garbett, has died at the age of 69. He was just weeks since he underwent major heart surgery. Vin also was overwhelmed by how many people reached out to him after his operation, and he spoke to Neil and Amy only a few weeks ago on BBC Tea's Breakfast. I have to say it's overwhelming. His emails and Facebook messages from Australia, South America, Canada, it's fantastic. Not to mention old friends who I haven't seen for 40 years just finding me and sending a message. It's brilliant. And of course, the hospital itself, the James Cook University Hospital, it's full of geniuses. <laughs> it, it is, it's full of geniuses. Yeah. And the staff, the nursing staff, God, they're just uh, unbelievable. Really helpful, kind. Yeah, they're just fantastic. His family have said this. He loved the life he shared with you all. And we know how much he'll be missed. Although we won't be able to see him, we're grateful that we'll be able to listen to him for the rest of our lives. Wonderful, wonderful words from the family. Mike McGraw there, local musician, knew Vin very well. Mike told me how Vin will be remembered. You use words like legend and things like that all the time, but I think what he did was he, he managed to have an impact on, on lots of different levels. He was able to kind of articulate in a really often funny, normal Teesside way, everything from kind of religion to politics to social injustice. Uh, and he'd have you crying at one moment and then just like laughing your head off the next. And I, I, he was such a craftsman. Um, I, I'd put him in the same league or higher leagues than the likes of Bob Dylan and Van Morrison and Christy Moore and all of these. I think he was, he, he was a, a world icon of folk music. It was his personality, his stage presence and, and his humanity that you can't really replace. But... He's had such an impact on so many people. And I think the legacy is that his voice will continue. As a fellow musician, what was he like to, to sort of speak to? Was he, was he very helpful? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I always remember that we did a gig with him with the Wildcats where we backed him. And um, he said, oh, come up to the house and, uh, and we'll go through the set and stuff. And I went up. I was there for about two and a half hours. And all he talked about was the, like the flowers and the plants in his garden, and 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 that would do this. And, and I, I learned loads about like flowers and that. Well, as I drove home, I thought we haven't actually mentioned the set yet. I love that attitude. It, it's it's beyond professional. It's just we all trust each other as musicians, and he got me, and I got him. And um, I was really, really honoured that when we did um, one of our 25th anniversary gigs last year, he, he came and. Uh, and did a spot there, which I'd always wanted him to do, but he was always away in, in, uh, in, in, at that time of year. But he came and he did a little set for us, and um, that'll go down as a, as a happy memory for me. Will we see another Vin Garbutt on Teesside? No. <laughs> you won't see another Vin Garbutt in the world. Local filmmaker Craig Hornby followed Vin on tour and made a film called The Teesside Troubadour. Vin Garbutt is a travelling folk singer, protest singer and comic. Since the 1970s, he's been one of the biggest names of English folk music. Well, I'm devastated to see the news. Um, I went to see him at his house two weeks ago when he just came out of hospital. And um, we had a laugh, you know. We always have a laugh. You know, he's one of the most upbeat, funny, optimistic, positive people you could, you could ever wish to meet. And it was a, an absolute privilege to have known him. <sighs> and I'm... Uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm devastated like I am. The whole positive vibe of the man and the fun just rubs off on you. And, um, you know, you, you, if, <laughs> if you're ever in a bad mood near him, it doesn't last long, you know. He just had that way with people, and that's how he was. And, uh, and it, was, it was great. I was, it was a privilege to do, to do that, to make that film and go with him around the world, you know. We went to Malaysia and Australia and Canada. And um, he had a brilliant way of getting on with people. He was so approachable, affable, unpretentious, genuine, all those things, absolutely to the max, you know. And uh, he was 69, you know, and he wasn't um, he wasn't an old man. And what makes it really difficult this is the fact that, you know, for the fact that if he lived to be 100, he'd still be the same. Because he wasn't an old man. He was very young and positive in his outlook and... Uh, that's what makes it really hard to take, really. Do you think he epitomised Teesside and the Teesside spirit? Um, Vin was a one-off. He was uh, he was unique. He was uh, I don't think he epitomised 
anything else because he was too unique. He, he was a complete one-off character, you know, who for some reason at the age of 15 found a guitar in his brother's wardrobe, picked it up, and it sort of naturally just happened and he found he could play it pretty quick and uh, and getting on stage and starting to sing these songs, folk songs, which were, wasn't like, you know, it was all rock and roll and the Beatles at the time. But he got into that, you know, and did his own thing from the start and away he went, you know, and, and became a complete a legend, you know. He was really daft and funny and hilarious and, you know, always joking. And at the same time, he was, he was, uh, he was deadly serious and sang really serious songs, you know, about, uh, you know, big issues. You know, he wasn't scared to, to duck serious subjects in his songwriting. And, and that was cheek by jowl with his madcap humour. That somehow worked, you know. And at the same time, he was, like, really, really um, knowledgeable and really proud of his roots and uh, being, a, you know, a local lad born in South Bank, lived in Eston, moved to the cliff top above Loftus, and uh, was really, um, really passionate into local history and local issues but also at the same time he was very he wasn't parochial you know he was he was like really outgoing and global in outlook and I thought that was fantastic and that's one of the reasons I also wanted to make the film you know That was local filmmaker Craig Cornsby with his real heartfelt and and glowing tribute to the wonderful Vin Garvey, the Teesside troubadour who died at the age of 69 BBC Tees